in today's video we are looking at uh, archicad construction detailing using profiles and uh, composites so today we are going to be looking at the construction detail of a parapet wall and remodeling it using the two elements which are profiles and composites so firstly when you get your drawing or your detail you look you analyze and look uh, on which elements or, or components are going to be constructed either by the profile or the composites so in this case we have the wall and the slab which are going to be constructed using uh, the composites the composites and the remaining elements such as steel flashing which are going to be constructed now using the profiles so firstly we are going to draw our wall to our wall our wall composite so from there we edit our wall composite uh, in regard to the skin or the layers of our wall which include in this case which include the the brick we have a cavity here the um, waterproofing membrane insulation and gypsum wall panel or gypsum wall plaster so from here we edit our composite you so firstly we create a new composite and rename it to a specific name in this case a cavity wall From there, we create our appropriate layers of, or skin of our composite. In this, uh, the first skin being or the layer being the gypsum plaster board, which is 10 millimeters, followed by thermal insulation, which is 120. And then waterproofing membrane, which is 10 millimeters then we have our space or cavity which we're going to use in this case we're going to use the space material to determine that which is 20 millimeters and then lastly we have our brick wall which we're going to use the brick finish material which is 75 millimeters so from here we have created our skin of our composite and then we save it so from here we come into our to our ground floor or workspace and select the the composite that we've just created which is the cavity wall which comprises of the skins that are represented here on our detail so secondly we go to our next composite which is the slab which have the uh, the roof slab which has the 100 millimeter roof slab 60 millimeter uh, thermal insulation and our waterproofing membrane and steel flashing so from here we go to our slab composite We enter it, we follow the same procedure that we have just done when we're creating our, our wall composite. We create a new composite and we give it a new roof slab. And again, we create the same, we follow the same procedure to create the skin of our composite. So firstly, we have five millimeter steel flashing. It's made of steel. Followed by, we have a, a space of five millimeters again. Uh, and then we have thermal insulation of 60 millimeters. And then lastly, we have the concrete slab of 100 millimeters.
So in this category, that's where you now change your line weights so that your drawing can be represented accurately when you produce your detail. So now here, this is the skin of our composite. So secondly, we go to our section, we cut our section so that we can ensure the correct positioning of our two composites as they are shown on our detail that we are following. So here we select the composite that we've just created, which is roof slab. From here we position it accurately as it is represented on our drawing. So you can position your drawing on the same position so that you can depict your drawing accurately. So looking at the two drawings, we can see the differences on the connection of our materials. So to correct this, we select the both the composites. We go to options and go to beauty materials. And now we work on the material prior, intersection priority of our materials. So as you see here, the slab has the highest intersection priority, which means it has to penetrate through the cavity wall to sit on top of the, to sit inside the cavity wall. So it has to have a higher priority more than any materials that are being highlighted here. So we can put it on 810. Then the following should be the gypsum plaster, which ensures a clean cut of the other remaining materials here. So here it's sitting currently on 210. We can put it on 800 so that it can be higher than other remaining materials. So other remaining materials so have to be lower than of the gypsum plaster of the gypsum plaster so we can put it at 790 demo break again we can put it on 790 steel we can put it again at 780 mm, yeah and then the space we can put it on 785 to be above the, the steel so from here we can say okay and check our drawing if you've received the same results as it is on the on our example here so right now we move on to the next stage which is now creating the profile of the remaining elements which are going to be created using custom profile so from here you trace out your drawing where of the components that are going to be created through the 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 custom profile or profile manager then you copy them on your profile manager from here you use the few to which provides the metric the the which represent the materials that are going to be shown on our detail so we have timber we are going to insert timber fill where it's supposed to be. And then the remaining, which is the steel flashing, which is made of steel. We use the steel material. And from here now, we save our profile to the appropriate name, which is still flashing. So after achieving this, we go back now to, to the ground for to the ground floor. And before you 
save your profile make sure you highlight the beam instead of using the word tool as we're already using the word tool so the to ensure a proper connection of material so that other materials won't affect the other components we would rather use the beam tool so you save also as a beam then you go back to now to your your workspace the ground floor workspace you select your your beam tool and now use your custom profile that we have just set which is still flashing and then you draw it on top of our drawing so from here we move on we go to the section for placement of our profile correct placement of our profile it's currently linked so now we drop it down to the right position which is going to be here and now we have achieved our drawing our detailed drawing now we can go to 3d and see how it came out and here it is So for further illustration of your drawing, you can now save your document as a 3D document. And here you have your detail. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching Mesolite on YouTube. For more of Akiket tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our channel and download Akiket templates and resources in the link on the description.